You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. The Supreme Council of Health has expressed deep pride in the keynote speeches delivered by His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa while chairing the regular weekly cabinet session attended by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa and before the 75th session of the UN General Assembly. During its regular meeting presided over by the head of the National Medical Task Force for Combating Coronavirus COVID-19, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa with the participation of the Minister of Health Faiqa bin Saeed Al Saleh, the SCH lauded His Majesty the King's praise of the precautionary measures in force and the extraordinary cooperation of the Bahraini people with the relevant government institutions in charge of fighting the pandemic. In the two speeches, His Majesty the King shed light on the Kingdom's tremendous efforts made by the Kingdom to combat the novel coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic. Secretary General Brahim Ali Nawakhda expressed the SCH's appreciation and gratitude to His Majesty King Hamid for his constant follow-up and unlimited support for the steadfast efforts made by various ministries and the Bahraini society to overcome the current circumstances resulting from COVID-19 under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and close follow-up of the National Medical Task Force. In this regard, the SCH stressed the importance of compliance with the measures announced by the Government Executive Committee led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, which urged everyone to assume their responsibilities towards the nation and the citizens through full commitment to all precautionary measures for two weeks until October the 1st in order to reduce infection rates. The SCH expressed appreciation for the citizens and residents who volunteered for the Phase 3 COVID-19 vaccine clinical trials. In this context, SCH President praised the Kingdom's success in reaching the 6,000 target six weeks after the Phase 3 COVID-19 vaccine trial got underway in Bahrain. He stressed that His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's participation in the Phase 3 of the vaccine trial has motivated everyone to join the campaign, noting that the addition of 1,700 volunteers to the original target further proves Bahrain's medical task force's highest professionalism and efficiency. The Under Secretary for Municipal Affairs at the Ministry of Forks, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Sheikh Mohammed bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, said that the number of violations that were detected through the mobile monitoring system during the period from January to September of this year amounted to 2,386 violations, an increase of 80% from the previous year. Sheikh Mohammed bin Ahmed stated the violations of the laws issued by the Municipal Affairs, such as the Buildings Regulation Law, the Regulatory Requirement for Construction in Various Regions of the Kingdom, and the Advertising Regulation Law are being monitored. He added that the ministry is activating monitoring of public hygiene violation law and the violations of communal housing. These regulations help the ministry implement the new laws entrusted to the municipalities. The Kingdom of Bahrain welcomed the results of the Coordination Committee held meeting in J Jordan's capital, Amman, between the foreign ministers of Jordan, Egypt, France, Germany and the European Union envoy to the Middle East peace process in order to find real prospects to achieve a comprehensive and just peace for the Arab-Israeli conflict on the basis of the two-state solution, the international law and approved references, including the Arab Peace Initiative. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs expressed the Kingdom's hope the efforts being exerted will reinvigorate the Palestinian-Israeli negotiations and lead to a comprehensive a political dialogue that yields peace as a strategic option to end the conflict on the basis of the two-state solution and the establishment of an independent and sovereign Palestinian state with East Jerusalem as its capital in order to achieve stability and permanent peace in the Middle East. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 6,479 active cases with 622 new recoveries and 489 registered new cases. 120 of the registered new cases are expatriates, 362 are contacts of active cases and 7 are travel related. The Ministry announced two more new deaths today. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.